This is a very special Master of One podcast Thanksgiving edition. And uh, man, it's already Thanksgiving. Does that seem like weird to anybody else? I I don't know if that's a question or if you're saying, is it weird how I started the show? No, that's a question. <laughs> is it weird to you guys that it's already Thanksgiving? It feels yes. like this year has kind of flown yeah, by. Yeah, I feel like we just got back from Creative South and now it's almost the end of the year. That's because you've been blackout drunk for the last six months. <laughs> Listen, somebody's got to do it. Um, so yeah, it's Thanksgiving, and uh, we thought we would do something a little bit different, a little bit special, and a lot a bit shorter, because we know everybody is itching to get in the kitchen. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Stupid. Uh, and, uh, <laughs> so anyway, uh, we're just going to go through a handful of our favorites uh, and uh, things that we're thankful for. So uh, Patrick, why don't you kick us off with uh, your, your favorite Thanksgiving food? Okay. Uh, yeah, that's easy. Uh, uh, the the rigid it sounds like it. The the, <laughs> the canned cranberry sauce. It cannot be fresh canned cranberry berry. sauce. Like the it, you open the can and it dumps out a cranberry shaped uh, like absolutely a, a it makes the cranberry sound of blob. <laughs> and you have to cut it. You can't like cut down that shape. You have to cut like you're cutting discs off the top of it. I hate fresh cranberry sauce. I think it's terrible. But the ration quality canned cranberry sauce is, there's nothing better. So that that is the thing that it's a have to for me. <coughs> and I need to have, like, don't break it up. Don't chop it up. I want to see it in the canned shape. It just feels like home cooking. Would and you then, ever, uh, would you, let me ask you the question. Would yeah. you ever take a bendy straw and stick it down into that and just slurp it from the inside out? I did not know that was an option. I don't think it's ever crossed my mind. I, I'm willing to do a lot Can of things. Can you try that today? <laughs> well, I don't have it today. On Actually, Thanksgiving? It's Thanksgiving. I, probably, I probably do have cranberry <laughs> sauce. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, correct, because we're totally recording on the same day that we release. Yeah. Yeah, Yeah. this is Thanksgiving. Uh, mm-hmm. And then as far as desserts, uh, pumpkin pie. I had, or no, sweet potato pie. That's the one. Sweet potato pie. It's great. I love it. Uh, that's the thing I have to have. It's great. So, Andrew, yours. Um, I'm a big fan of sweet potato, like, casserole, I guess it would be what it yeah. is. But I, I wouldn't consider it a casserole, but it's, like, sweet potatoes with marshmallows and, yep. like, brown sugar yep. on it. Yep. Um, that's a that's a go-to as far as, like, the, the sweet side, and it has a little bit of the savory. But then, um, other than that, like, a really good, like, dinner roll. Oh, gosh. You know what I mean? Like, yeah, like a Hawaiian. If you take the you dinner like roll a Hawaiian and, and roll kind of, or what? No, not no, a Hawaiian roll. I what is this? No, no, or is I don't this know. a luau? No, this it's it's a. Wait, I don't even know what a Hawaiian roll is. Yeah. Yes, you do. Nope. You've had them. Nope. Yep. Nope. Um, they come in a package, like an orange package, and they're like pre-made dinner roll, almost like sweet there. butter or something. Ew. Yeah, they're not no. quite potato bread, but they're almost like a potato oh, bread gross. kind of flavor. No. Anyway, what kind of, I, don't, what kind of I don't listen. I don't hate. What? I don't hate Hawaiian. I don't hate Hawaiian yeah. rolls, but that's not like that's not Thanksgiving. That's for the, <laughs> what? Is, that's what is the meal. Thanksgiving roll? Who makes that? I, your mom. Your mom. <laughs> <laughs> like homemade rolls. That's what I'm talking about. I'm not talking about like freaking, you know, prepackaged garbage. But then, like, you take the roll and then you sop up the. The uh, like the remnants of the sweet potato and the brown sugar and the and the it's kind of like a molasses at that point. Oh gosh! Do all of your dishes take have me like, down to Flavor Town? Is all I gotta say. Do all your dishes have like a uh, a pool of butter, like uh, just a butter sheen across the bottom? No. Nope. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay, we're not right. We're that, not from we're not from South Georgia. Right. Well, that's what so, you're missing. Um. Uh. So yeah, that would probably be mine. All right, Luke. Um, man, that's tough. I think, so I like the day after Thanksgiving, I like like a leftover turkey sandwich. I think that's my favorite is like, there's like mashed potatoes are always good all the time. No matter what holiday, mashed and potatoes and gravy. Good. Gotcha. Um, <laughs> but Leftover turkey sandwiches are just super, super good to me. So that's that's my 
Why are I don't you think I've ever because I don't think I've ever I've heard you know tons of people love that. Like I, I mean, there's a whole episode of friends about the moist maker right and it's yeah. leftover turkey sandwiches so like i get that it's a thing i've never had it i've never had oh, a turkey good, dude. And, and, and after thanksgiving turkey sandwich yeah um I- the rolls so the rolls that we always had were the pillsbury layer rolls where you can like pu- peel off. really yeah like the biscuits yeah the layer biscuits yeah. That's weird. Butter, okay. jelly, butter, jelly, butter, jelly. It's like... <laughs> For Thanksgiving? It's like a Neapolitan roll. That's way too correct. much of both of nope. those things. Nope. What is happening? It's I don't feel best. like you know how to Thanksgiving um, if you're doing biscuits and, no, no, no. and jelly. What? Come on now. Biscuits Just, and jelly? It's not a Thanksgiving meal. Listen, you guys are both Southern. This is Ohio food. It's, it's a, good. It's a breakfast. That That's a regular breakfast item for Southerners. No, no. <laughs> like, These okay, are the wait, layered wait. rolls. They're not biscuits. They're like rolls. I have I have a leftover idea for you. What? In this. <laughs> like this was an idea he he had are you, like a bunch of. Are you going to say the turkey? Are you going to say the turkey in the rolls? It's a really terrible idea. Are you going to say the turkey in the rolls? Take your leftover <laughs> stuffing. I Put hate it stuffing. in a waffle maker to yeah. heat it up yeah. and shove it up your butt. <laughs> and then, <laughs> thanks, Stanley, that creates this uh, stuffing waffle. Yeah. Then use gravy, much the way you would use maple syrup. Uh-huh. There you go. Next day, put an egg on top and then of that. Tur- no, turkey on it. So it's like chicken and waffles, but it's turkey you, stuffing. Yeah. And you yeah, have no. a gumbo. You have to like stuffing. I hate stuffing. What? Yep. I don't like stuffing. So it's. So it's only called so I mean you this like is not jelly any- biscuits and nothing else. No, I like <laughs> yeah. no, no. I think maybe you just like breakfast listen, foods. I said <laughs> listen, I said mashed potatoes, uh obviously okay. turkey, and then the uh okay. sweet potato casserole okay. is always good, but the the green bean casserole You're literally just listing Thanksgiving <laughs> foods. We said what's your favorite? You've now listed six things. <laughs> yeah, I said my favorite was the leftover turkey sandwich. Okay. Okay, perfect. Then we casseroles move Casseroles are the unsung heroes though. Casseroles are doing the heavy lifting, yes. but like turkey gets the it gets the appreciation. But yeah. If you didn't have green bean casserole and sweet potato casserole, you don't have a Thanksgiving. Yeah, when was yeah. the last time the president pardoned a green bean casserole? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That's a political joke, guys. I uh, took it there. Okay. We're going to have to edit that out. We don't do that. Um, <laughs> yeah. All right. That's fine. <laughs> Just thinking about food. Okay. Next question. Um, uh, this. Oh, this is a good one. Uh, your best Thanksgiving memory, knowing that this is going to be followed by the time you ruin Thanksgiving. But let's start with your best Thanksgiving memory. Can, can we just pause for one second and say that one of the things that on this day of thanks I'm thankful for is that Patrick gives props to the idea of his question that he <laughs> himself wrote. <laughs> oh, yeah. this is a good one. <laughs> <laughs> you, just, you just typed it like three minutes ago. I am, I'm thankful, I'm 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 I am thankful for curtain. Patrick's humility. <laughs> so the, oh, this this next question is a fantastic oh, guys, question. You're in for a treat. <laughs> Check out this question. Listen, if you write, if you want to write the questions, you can get really excited about your own questions. <laughs> no, hey, Wait. I said I'm thankful for it. I love it. That's you one have of the most thirty three percent of an opportunity to do that. <laughs> I have. I only have thirty three percent. You have thirty four percent. That's right. Opportunity to okay, do. Okay, best Thanksgiving memory. Let's go. I mean, oh. for me, I would say um, there was a period of time where we had Thanksgiving at my grandma's house, and she had a pretty small, like, ranch house, and there were people in every room except for the the two bedrooms, essentially. Uh, and the bathroom. So like people were eating in the living room, people were eating in the dining room, people were eating in the TV room. Uh, Like everybody was just sprawled out everywhere and the house was packed. The kitchen was completely full for like the food table and everything. And it was, that was really fun because the kid, like I, I was, I don't know. It was probably when I was between eight and 11, eight and 12, like those couple years. Um, just a completely packed house and we would, the kids would just play. We'd have a blast and it was just a whole bunch of people hanging out. Um, that was the good. And then, you know, people, as we got older, people moved and, uh, different things happened. So you just painted such a nice picture with your words. Yeah, that's, Luke. that's Norman Rockwellian. Yeah. Well. Yeah. I didn't even know you were capable of saying those things. <laughs> yeah. 
I didn't even know that those words were in your vocabulary. I um, I don't think I have any any particular best like Thanksgiving memory. I think the closest would probably come to like the my first experience of Black Friday shopping. Okay. Um, but uh, but yeah, I don't think uh, wh- where we where we bought Chandra an iPad Mini on a whim. Like we're not planning on buying anything; just gonna go see everything, and then ended up buying a three hundred dollar iPad. <laughs> um, so I think that's probably the closest one to it. That's gotcha. probably her best memory as well. Yeah, maybe. No, um, she probably has some legit ones because she's got a huge family in Kentucky that they probably sp- spent every waking moment together for Thanksgiving. You, you know, I have, I feel like, um, so our house in a lot of ways just became the uh, catch-all for people that didn't have a Thanksgiving to go to. Mm. And uh, my parents were the type of people that would just... Hobo Junction. Yeah, just invite total strangers over. And uh, so that's probably just my favorite thing um, in general. I don't know that there's like a, a specific moment, but just overall, it, it's a it's a pretty cool thing when you sit down at a table with, um, you know, 10 or 15 people that you don't really know. Sure. But you get to share like a, a an important moment of the year and, and like a, a just a really over the top meal with. Uh, e- eating is about the, the single best thing you can do when it comes to relationship building. And... Um, and so I, I don't know. Those Unless were just you're a cannibal. <laughs> In yeah, that's case, true. It's, a, it's the single worst. Yeah. Um, so so those were those. That's always been just a really cool thing. Luke, it looked like you had an addendum to that. No. Oh, I yeah, just saw that's your. Just his, that's just his face. It's always. Ah, expected. Okay, that's fine. Yeah. Now, uh, so let me take that, the next one. I'll take the next one. Let Let so, me. St- I I think yours is going to be worse than mine. So let me start. Okay. No, 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 no. I don't know how Wait, I feel about listen, that. Listen, you guys are in for a treat. Check out this question I came up with. <laughs> Patrick, tell me the time that you ruined Thanksgiving. I like Luke, to think that's that, a fantastic question. Thank you. <laughs> I think I like to think that we ruined it. And when I say we, I mean when you get married <laughs> and you have to figure out your first set of holidays like as your new self, that's tough. And uh, so when I like to, when I say we ruined it, I mean that we basically destroyed two families' hopes and dreams our first year of marriage. Yeah. Um, so hey, to kids it. listening, just get ready for when you get married. Uh, holidays get super Wait, so complicated. Hold on, just to clarify, you're you're referring to you have to choose a family to be part of on that actual day. Yeah, right. or you have to decide you're doing your own thing. But exactly, like ultimately, right. you can only be at one lunch at a given time, and especially when your families are like across the country. Right. Um, and so that's that's tough. It's just a thing. And I'm sure that people listening that are married are just like, yep, yeah, you know, like well, you've been first, there. When we first got married, it. we Chandra and I's families were close enough that we would do one for lunch and then one for dinner. Mm. So they were like 25 minutes apart. Uh, now that's not the case. And then we actually shifted to where it was just, I mean, it's just us now, right? right? We just do our own thing. Yeah. So I, I'll, let me just chime in and say, I'm thankful because my, my mom and dad, um, and really Rachel's parents too, but my mom and dad, I guess are the, the thing that stick out in my head. They have never been ones for like, um, keeping up the appearances or having to do the, the social norm. And so they've always been very accommodating of, you know, what do you guys want to do? Or I don't want you to feel like you have to, uh, come down here. Uh, you know, we only live an hour away, but still like, you don't have to come down here just to be here on the day. Can we, we can do it on the weekend after or the weekend before or something. Um, and so like, they've always been really cool. And they've also, my, you know, sheltered like, uh, you know, the, the blowback. Cause as we've had kids, we haven't been able to be at all of those events because we're trying to create our own in our own family. Right. Um, and they've able to be like, well, why do the kids have to come to this? Because, uh, they're, you know, they're trying to make Mm. stuff, uh, memories with their kids. Um, and so it's, I don't know, I guess I'm just thankful that my parents are like super thoughtful of, uh, you know, our need to, uh, be our own family too. So, so a time that I <clears throat> ruined 
a holiday. Uh-huh. Um, <clears throat> I so I went to uh, a I went to Bible college. Yeah. Okay, and that matters <laughs> for this story. <laughs> Uh, I, I came home. I grew up going to church. Is this and, the Mountain um, Dew story? I don't know what that means. So, uh, no, probably not. Cause I, that, that has zero context for me. <laughs> um, uh, maybe you were drinking Mountain Dew when I told you the, the story. The closet Mountain I Dew. I don't know. That's you're that's not me. Nope. So, I'm going to tell um, you about it later and you're going to go, oh, that. Okay. Well, uh, we... When I came home from school, I, we, I grew up going to church, and my whole family, you know, uh, we, we were a church family. Um, and I went to Bible college. I came home after the first semester, and, oh, no, that doesn't ruin a holiday. No. <laughs> um, and uh, and uh, I felt like I knew every. Do you guys remember? Well, you don't, Luke, but do you remember, Patrick, like you come home like that first time and you feel like you know everything in the world because you've been to one semester of college? Wait, I like did one semester of college, guys. Yeah, okay, sure. And <laughs> I guess maybe you just stuck there because now you still think you know everything and you only did that one semester <laughs> of college. I do know everything. <laughs> so um, so I thought I knew like all I know that I don't work. like your tone. So I, I decided that it would be a good idea for me to get into a political and <laughs> theological discussion at our Thanksgiving table. Um, I, just, I mean, it just didn't go well. It didn't. Your go, family's I said Baptist, lots, oh, right? You, my family's Baptist, yeah. And so I said lots of words like dogmatic and <laughs> <laughs> like just. Did you bring up a lot Calvinism of, at all? I didn't bring up Calvinism because uh, <laughs> that we cover that in, in uh, the second semester, but. Um, but it was one of those situations where afterwards I went back thinking that I was like the coolest. I thought I was so awesome for like really ruffling feathers at Thanksgiving. Yeah. And I told one of my, my friends who was a professor, I told him, I was like, yeah, I, my family said this. And I was like, oh, no, the only things you should be dogmatic about are this, this and this. And he's like, why would you say dogmatic? He said, that was stupid. <laughs> like, why would you be like, <laughs> that's not the right context for that. Like, that's not how you'd use that word. And I'm like. Well, crap. <laughs> so it was totally my fault. I just totally, I mean, it Did was. Did anyone was just like get up from the table and leave? Oh, probably. But that happened at every meal. <laughs> like somebody got angry. <laughs> so like it wasn't we, remarkable. No, the, the remarkable part was the, the political and theological discussion. Because we were a Baptist family who didn't talk about things. Like we just, you didn't smoke, you didn't drink, you didn't Yeah, cuss, just like any good Christian family. You didn't family. have sex before yeah. marriage because you just don't, and you don't even talk about it. You're not right. even allowed to question because it. Because You just reasons. don't do it. Um, and uh, so to talk about anything in any way, shape, or form was kind of, that was the part that was. Yeah, you picked the wrong day. <laughs> yeah. Anyway. You picked the wrong day. Luke, did you have a time where you ruined things? No, I didn't. No. Okay. No, I mean, um, like, honestly, I can't think of any. I, I think the me and the cousin like cousins always fight you know eventually throughout a day of being just crazy and tired and eating a lot of food so it usually ended with one of the five or six cousins ganging up on, you know like the the rest ganging like up on one the other ones well just there was always a fight somebody would always feel picked on and that would always ruin uh a time. So I'm sure I was part of that at some Would point. Did you say that it ruined it? Ruined. Ruined. So there hey, was okay, a so time, I, I think, I'll tell this quickly and then Andrew take over. I think this may have been around Thanksgiving, but it's a little hazy because I was younger. I have a twin sister. Mm. And Greta. I'm not saying I pushed her. I may have been chasing her. And she fell. Now, I, I had been playing with, um, like, army men before this. I'm younger, okay? It's like Lincoln Logs and army men. That's, what, that's all my grandma has. Yeah. That's what I play with. Yep. And what, there was a flagpole. So there was, like, this basically like a glorified toothpick. Like, it's a, it, it was somewhere between a skewer and a toothpick. It was a flagpole. <laughs> I and, hate where this um, is going. Or where I a, think this a is going. A square pick or a, a toothier. Oof. And, um... I either pushed my sister or she fell. I don't know. I was chasing her, but she stood up and the flagpole was sticking out of her forehead. (laughs) Okay. And it was to the hospital. (laughs) I don't, I don't know if this was around a a hotel. I don't know if this was around a a holiday or not, but that story triggers another story where 
I picked up a very large rock, very large rock, about this big. <laughs> and uh, my sister, who's about 18 months or 20 months older than me, um, I yelled, duck. And she didn't, <laughs> oh, think, she didn't think that I would do it. <laughs> and so I've, I guess I've always had this sense of proving people wrong. <laughs> so I heaved this rock, and I think she needed like, 15 stitches oh my in, her, in her forehead i was in trouble yeah i don't remember if it was a holiday but i remember <laughs> i was in trouble i broke okay. <laughs> i broke my arm at a family function and I, it was i was really young so i don't remember if it was thanksgiving or not but i was running and i felt i tripped and broke my arm and it was like you know obviously immediately leave, leave and go to the hospital so that could have ruined how bad was that break it was just, it, it was not a bad break, but it was my left arm. So your arm wasn't like facing the wrong direction? No, no, no. It wasn't like uh, sticking out of the skin okay. or anything like that. Okay, so here's what I want to know. Uh, a couple a couple of rapid fire questions we're not going to dive too deep into. Turkey or ham? Turkey. 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 Ham is, thanks, or, ham is Christmas, right? People yeah. do. We, we, do a, we do two turkeys and a ham every Thanksgiving. Yeah, we always have ham at Thanksgiving also, but turkey is... It's turkey. That's the pr- that's the primary, um, and then Christmas music. Stick with me. Christmas music before or after Thanksgiving? After you, anybody before is bad people. I'm a bad right. person. Yeah, you stink. <laughs> that's a true statement. Let me say this: I have no problem listening to it before, specifically this year. I have not. I okay. have not, but I don't have a problem with it. So then, let me ask this question, Luke, to you. Yep. Uh, cause you, you and I are on the same page with that. Um, do you play Christmas music the evening of Thanksgiving? No. Like after everyone's nope. food, like while it, everyone's it, food is settling. It has to be a date change. Is at twelve oh one next day. Christmas music is fine. Like Rachel, Rachel has instituted. You stay her, awake like after midnight just to listen to Christmas music. I would just say no, go ahead and just listen no, to it no, at nine no. o'clock the night but before. What I'm saying is in my house, it's not allowed until a date change. Um, okay. But Rachel has started a, a tradition or instituted a rule. Um, there are two ways to view it, depending on who you are, um, that we put our Christmas tree up that weekend. So like next weekend, right after Thanksgiving, our, our tree will be up. up. And it'll probably be up Is until the Christmas middle of February. Is your Christmas tree already up, Patrick? Yeah, it's been up for a week oh, now. Oh, you are bad people. Are you kidding me? Why? No. You guys suck. You need you need to you need to defend that. Why? I I like it. What about Thanksgiving? <laughs> okay. Yeah, we're gonna go to it, but again, we don't have Thanksgiving at our apartment. We end up going somewhere, and it's just it's nice. The lights are nice. It kind of acts as like a glorified nightlight, which I uh, enjoy. I like in normal life, I can't have a nightlight because that's weird because you're 30 years old. But when I have a Christmas you got a tree, green now, it's nightlight okay. behind you. But also, but also, it's weird for you to have a nightlight when you're 30, but it's not weird to put up a Christmas tree eight weeks before Christmas. No, I told you I like Christmas. Listen, Target put up Christmas decorations eight that's weeks wrong. before they're, re- they're retailers. But they're it's, retailers. It's wrong. Still wrong. They're helping you be prepared so that when it's time to put stuff up, you can already own it. Okay, that's take doing. to Twitter. Here we go. Is it okay to put up a Christmas tree? Eight I waited weeks. till after Halloween, but after Halloween and before Thanksgiving. No. In that time period, is it okay? No. He's not asking you. He's asking Twitter. I just asked, yeah, I asked Twitter. I, I know. I'm you. telling Twitter it's not okay. And I want the tweets and the tr- the t- uh, twats. <laughs> <laughs> the twits. Finish that. I'm thankful for what you were getting ready to say. This is two weeks in a row. I know. Um, all right. So uh, one one final one kind of final thing, and then we'll wrap it up. Um, What's one thing that you are thankful for this year? Uh, mine would be, uh, I, I would say, uh, deeper community. I mean, we're, we are three years in, or, or we're past the three-year mark now and um, in doing this show. And certainly we get to talk to people, but we've made a conscious decision to say we don't want that to be one-sided. Like, we, we don't want like to talk at you we want to talk with you which is yeah. the reason that social channels are important slack is important um and, you know and then going to conferences conventions that's important as well right and what we got to experience this year especially over last year you know last year was a bit of us um finding community like new communities uh for the first time 
this year we got to go back and be a part of it. Like we, we got to go back and like we knew people or, or we got to see people we had only talked to online, but we had it met in person or we got to meet people for the first time, but that were like already a part of this thing. And, and so that that's just been really cool to like to sit down and play a board game with 10 people that are, a, a, a you know, from across the country that are part of your community. That's really, really, really special. Mm. Um, you know, in the same way that sitting down at Thanksgiving table with friends and family is special. And so uh, I would say that uh, that is what I am especially thankful for this year. Yeah. Yep. I think I'm just going to echo that. I don't think I'm going to add anything to that, especially in the context of the podcast. I'm, I'm thankful for the opportunities we've been given um, as a direct result of the community that, that's been fostered. So, Yeah. Um, okay. I think for me, yeah, I definitely echo that. I, I'm thankful um, also that we... Um, that I have the ability to do this. You know what I mean? Like, um, my life is, is such a way that I have the freedom to, to pursue this, even though it, it takes a whole lot of time and doesn't make really any money. Like, I'm thankful that we, uh, that we have families that support that. Um, yeah. And, and allow us to, to pursue the thing that we love. So, yeah. yeah. So speaking of families, uh, we will we will call this one done so that you can go spend time with yours. Have a fantastic meal. Hit uh, hit up Twitter or Instagram or our Slack channel and let us know uh, some of your fun or funky family traditions. Christmas trees aren't are, weird. Um, it's not weird. And if, They're not and let at us Christmas know time. If, let us know if Patrick. I think you can do. Hang on. I think you can do polls on Twitter. We will post a poll on okay. Twitter, so go to our Twitter, uh, our Twitter feed, and and vote on that poll, and we'll just find out definitively who's right or wrong. Um, yeah. And uh, I but trust in the meantime, you guys to make the right decision. Yeah, Me too. But in the meantime, enjoy your meals. Uh, post pictures, tag us in it, join the conversation. I want to be in tagged Slack. in leftover turkey sandwich pictures day after Thanksgiving. Okay. Can I get um, some canned cranberries? And uh, and if you find any of those like Socks. grand like Pillsbury grand biscuits and like a, a thing of jelly, um, just tag Luke in that. It, literally any time of the year because that's when that is happening. Yeah, and then just <laughs> put it back in your fridge because it's Thanksgiving and no one eats that garbage. Um, yeah, wait till Thanksgiving's over because that's not when you eat that. Um, but enjoy your meals, enjoy your families. Uh, hit us up on all the different socials. It's M of One Podcast, but you probably know that if you're watching this. And uh, hit us up on our on our website. Uh, join the Slack community if you're not already in there. It, it is it's truly what we are are, are most grateful for uh, yeah. with this podcast is that community. If you're not a part of it, uh, you're missing out, honestly. And uh, man, happy Christmas listening music time for those of you who are already there. And uh, for Luke, uh, enjoy it tomorrow. Yeah. Um, but uh, good luck Black Friday the, shopping, everybody, too. Be safe. With, yeah. Good luck Black Friday shopping. Get some rest. Uh, and uh, really, we'll see you next week. Happy holidays. Merry yeah. Christmas giving. <laughs> <laughs> Merry Christmas giving. Bye. Uh, butts. <laughs>